Ooh, we got some big koi. We got some big koi. Oh, these guys are hungry. These guys are hungry. That's a huge, thick, thick pleco boy. Big, big monster freaking plecos. Over a foot long, easy. They've got tons and tons of live bears. These are some creamsicle mollies. Liar tail, sword tail maybe? I don't think I've ever seen this fish. Okay, I just found the frontosa. I just found the frontosa. That's the largest Oscar I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, these are some big boys. Oh my gosh, so graceful. I'm down in Miami. I wasn't planning on coming here, but I had to make a trip. All right guys, so I'm here at the neighborhood fish farm in Miami, Florida, and it is just unbelievable. I've seen videos of it, you guys may have too. And there is just vat after vat. I mean, I guess tank after tank, but vat after vat of just different fish. They've got African cichlids over here, and it looks like all this stuff is for sale. It looks like you think it's like a big commercial breeding facility, but it's just like your neighborhood fish farm. It looks like uh, they got goldfish over here. Now we're getting to some of these bigger vats. This place goes on and on, guys. You could spend probably a day and a half here and get lost, and then spend another two days here. <laughs> but it uh, looks like they got some pretty decent sized koi in this big vat. And then as we move down over here, it looks like they got more and more goldfish here, kind of divided into these, you know, four sections. Once again, a lar large vat divided into uh, different sections. Looks like these are from, uh, I don't know if they import these from Japan, but Japanese goldfish. And then some more over here, which is the red, red fantails here. As we move back, I think the fish get bigger and bigger. I can already see, look at these monster freaking plecos over here. This is big, big monster freaking plecos. Over a foot long, easy. So iridescent sharks. So when you guys see these things so tiny in the store, these guys are already foot long plus. Oh, these are some big boys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, these fish for sale as well? No, these are just your pets. So some red tail cats, arowana. What's that? Is that a iridescent shark? Or a big iridescent shark? Wow. Some big Oscars. <laughs> Paku. <laughs> Thank you. So graceful. 
that's the largest Oscar I've ever seen in my entire life. Like all these Oscars are big Oscars. Like that's a big Oscar. And then this guy or girl is a freaking monster. These are some really cool looking plecos. XL Rhino plecos. That's a huge, thick, thick pleco boy. Look at these monstrous Paku. I think these are banded, banded leopard fish. These are big. Look at the size of these Paku. There's three of them over here. Ooh, we got some big koi. We got some big koi. I think something like this might be in my future. They're running away from me, but there's a herd of decent sized koi over there. They have such a wide selection of fish from goldfish, koi, African cichlids, there's the live bears, obviously the big monster fish, which to me is just like, I've never seen monster fish that big. I get, I now I kind of get why the, the love is for them, even though I don't have any tank space, but it's really cool just to, to watch them glide to the water and just truly appreciate how freaking big some of these fish get. Oh, these guys are hungry. These guys are hungry. Beautiful looking koi, some long fin. I'm kind of out of my element here. I apologize, I don't know all the different names and stuff, but just appreciating the different, uh, all the different fish. Okay, I just found the frontosa. I just found the frontosa. I don't know if there's a bunch of them, but Look at that big boy. Look at the hump on that guy. Another one right there. Looks like some a big old parrotfish, actually. I thought that was a red devil, but it's a big old parrotfish. Another uh, banded lepronitis, whatever it's called. And then, I don't even know what the other fish are. It's a really cool looking frontosa. I wonder if it's a male and female pair. It looks like it might be a female. They've got tons and tons of live bears. These are some creamsicle mollies. And then there's just assorted sword tails over here. Just different colors I've never seen before. Just the brighter oranges, some more whites, darks, some Dalmatian looking ones. It's a really cool assortment of stuff. Some silver liar tear mollies. These are big mollies. Looking at these guys, those are mollies. They almost look like small goldfish. Like those are small goldfish, but those silver ones are, are just big, big mollies. Looks like some more sword tails over here. Maybe these are these are a red brick sword, maybe. I don't know. They look actually look like they have liar tails. Really cool. Liar tail liar tail sword tail maybe? I don't think I've ever seen this fish. Here's some more mollies and another rhino pleco over here on the side. That's kind of like a normal size rhino pleco. <laughs> some more black mollies and Dalmatian mollies. Looks like some koi, koi mollies over here, or koi sword tails actually. These, there's just like vat after vat. Like in a normal store, this would be a you know a 10 gallon tank, and over here it's just a huge, a huge vat. These are some sunburst mollies. And then down here, it looks like, what are these? A mix, mix different platies. So they got a little bit of everything. 
Looks like we wandered upon the barb section. Looks like there's some clown barbs, red panda barbs. I've never even heard of that fish. Tiger barbs and red tail sharks. Just full. They even have tanks of snails here and you can see that there's definitely some mystery snails in here, apple snails, because these clutches all over the freaking vat are from uh, the snails. Who knows if they'll actually hatch or not because I don't think they're with enough moisture, but it's just interesting that all these big snails are laying eggs like crazy. A lot of these fish are harder to see, like there's a bunch of loaches and stuff in here that don't show as well in the vats, but obviously it makes sense why they would have these vats down here in South Florida. You know, they keep these things here and the temperature is, is fine. So they're allowed to do things that you might not be able to do in other parts of the country or world. Looks like we've got some more uh, big uh, big snails in here that are laying clutches of eggs everywhere. But these are some uh, Buenos Aires tetras and albino Buenos Aires tetras. The next vat over has, uh, looks like there's some loaches in here it says somewhere, but rummy nose tetra, tiger barbs. So these are, like I said, a lot of these are some more of the common fish. They have some more rare fish, but everything's just, you know, on a super, super large scale and in these uh, gigantic vats. Got autos in here, giant danios, blue tetras. Just a nice mix of community fish. Here's some more of the classic stuff, like some blue grommies kind of in here in the vat with some iridescent sharks and some goldfish. Seems like they kind of have goldfish in a lot of the different tubs. Looks like some trophies. See some blue acaras and some koi. I didn't realize the blue acaras got that big either. You can tell the tank's been set up for a long time. There's plenty of mulm in here, but the water, you know, is running consistently. So the water is crystal clear, although each of these, you know, tanks or vats is just covered in algae and just good beneficial bacteria that you can tell these fish are just never going to go hungry. I think they even have some shrimp. Looks like they got some crystal shrimp. Looks like they got some yellows, some yellow fire. So they got to mix everything. They even have some plants, dwarf aquarium lilies. So if you guys are in the Miami area, definitely stop by. I'm jealous if you guys can call this your neighborhood fish farm, then uh, you definitely are lucky.